Welcome to Small Talk Daily for Thursday, December 18, 2008. This morning I thought I'd go through a registry interface, and the interesting thing about the one I'm going to show you is that it works on Windows using the registry, but it simulates the registry using the file system on other platforms. And I've got VisualWorks running on both Windows using Parallels, and on the Mac you can kind of see it behind here. So I'll show you both. Let's go to the Parcel Manager. And to bring this in, you want to go over here to the Windows section, and even though it's cross-platform in this particular case, that's where you'll find it. So we'll go ahead and load that. And once that's in, I'm going to bring up a page I've already created here called registry.ws. And here's a simple little test. I'm going to create a path, H key current user, ST reg example, brag. So let's go ahead and set that as our path. And now just to show you that there's nothing up my sleeve, let's try to read that path. So we use the class value and we'll do an inspect on this. And as you can see, nothing there. So let's go ahead and write it. So now we'll take the path and we'll set its value using value colon. So the nice thing about this is it's easy to use. You send value colon to set keys, value to read them. So let's do a do it. It writes it. Let's do this and read it. And there it is. Now again, to show you there's nothing up my sleeve, let's go ahead and try the registry editor. So we'll do a run. I'll bring up the registry editor, and if I go here, you'll find there's my key. I find this, and there's what I've set. So let's toss that aside for a moment. And now I'll try to delete the key. So let's go ahead and send that. And we'll bring the registry editor back. And I think I have to actually toggle on and off, and there it is. Notice the key is gone. Now the outer one is still there. I could go all the way back and delete everything, but I haven't. So you see it works. I can read keys from the registry. I can write them, assuming I have the ability to do so, meaning the permissions. Let's go over here to the Mac, though, and I'll bring up my workspace, and I'll bring this up. I've already loaded the parcel, so I don't need to do that. Let's open registry.ws here, and we'll try the same thing. Here's the path, so I'll go ahead and set that. And now I'll try reading it to show you it's not here. So we'll do a do it on an inspect it on that. And again, here we had an exception, but it's telling me there's no such file or directory. And notice where it's going to live. It's going to be in a directory called dot registry off our top level system. So now let's go ahead and write it. Again, using the same exact interface. We'll do a do it here. And now let's try to read it. Let's do an inspect. And there it is, it comes in. Now, again, to show you there's nothing up my sleeve on this, let's cd, cd to dot registry. We'll do an ls. There we see that, cd to h key. Do an ls. cd to streg. Do an ls. And there's our file. And now, since this is a binary file, I'll send strings to it, underscore br. And there we see that the key is saved in that file. Now, let's leave the, that aside. We'll go ahead and delete the key. And again, it's not going to blow away the whole path, but if I do a PWD, you find them here, and if I do an LS, you'll find the file went away. So I can read and write files using this registry interface on any platform, and on Windows, it'll use the actual registry. Nice thing about this is you can now write code that's much more portable that uses the registry and do the same kind of thing on other platforms. So if you want what Windows do, you can do that. And if you want to then do something similar on other platforms, it'll just work. So that's about it for today. Until next time, have fun with small talk.